Hello. In this video, we're going to talk about timestamps. So we're going to talk about timestamps, we're going to talk about MySQL timestamps, and we're going to talk about how to display timestamps. So first, let me tell you what a timestamp is. Uh, I'm going to illustrate that with these two lines right here. I've already written the code, and I'm just going to talk about it just in the interest of keeping this short. So I've got a variable called tm, and I'm setting it to whatever this function called time returns. Well, it returns a timestamp. So a timestamp is just kind of, it's going to look to you just like some weird integer, because it is. It's basically the number of seconds which have elapsed from a certain date in the past. So it's always getting to be a larger number. I'm going to show you what this looks like. So I'm echoing out that timestamp right here. I'm going to show you what it looks like. Right, like I said, it's just some weird integer. If I refresh again, it's going to be a slightly larger integer. Right, it's always going up. So it's the number of seconds which have elapsed since a particular date about 50 years ago. So that is used to put order to things. Like no one wants to look at that. Literally, nobody wants to look at that. But what, you might want to turn that into a real date. Oftentimes it's used to give order to things. Like you might want to display the most recent post or record the date of a transaction. And that's where these things come into play. So that right there, that's PHP function, which just returns a timestamp. That's one way you can work with it. Now right here, so notice it was just some weird string of stuff. You don't want to do that. What you would want to do is format it with this thing called the date function. All right, so the date function is a PHP function, and you give it two parameters. Uh, the first one is a string, and that's where you're specifying what you want the date to look like. This is going to be like M means two digit month, D means two digit day, Y means two digit year. And the second thing you pass it is a timestamp. So let me show you what this does, and then I'll show you where that comes from. Right, so that weird thing right there with that particular date formatting looks like that. Now you might be wondering, well, what the heck, you know, how did I do that M, D, Y? Well, let me show you. Please understand, if you're ever learning PHP or using PHP, that you need to know about php.net, which is where the documentation is. Um, so I always look at this from a date function. These are all the various codes that you can put in there. Like here's that D for two-digit day. Um, right. If you wanted to be the text, if you wanted to get the textual representation of a date, it would be right the, the uppercase D. I'll show you. Like I'll just do that. So these are the various codes. Anything that you put in there that's not one of these literals is going to be interpreted, or sorry, anything that's not one of these is going to be interpreted as a literal. Now what I mean is like these slashes. The slashes are not in that list of stuff, so they show up just as whatever. I'll show you that that thing. I don't think it's a good day, a, a good thing, but I'm going to do this. So if I do uppercase D and then like a comma and a space, that's going to be that textual representation of the date. This is going to be a literal because it's not in the list, and space is going to be a literal because it's not in the list. So I'm really showing you kind of a lot about how to use the, the date function because that's an important part of this video, right? And you see what it did. So that uppercase D got interpreted as the textual three-letter thing. There's my comma. There's my space. Now, the, the key thing to understand here is if you're trying to format a timestamp as a date, you could look at this and create whatever you want, or you could just realize that down here, there's a bunch of people who have given you like everything you'd ever want, right? Like here's a bunch of common formats, and here's the common parameters or arguments that you'd want to put in there. So no need to reinvent the wheel, but I like to show you where that stuff comes from. I'm just going to stick with MDY. All right, so that's working with a timestamp. So that's kind of a good explanation of the date function. I'm not going to show you any more about the date function, but what I'm going to show you now is how to work with a MySQL timestamp. So a MySQL timestamp is basically when you're creating rows in a table and you're also creating like like the or recording the the timestamp of that transaction. It works very similar, right? It's just some kind of weird value which doesn't mean a lot to you. You can format it with the date function. So just to show you how this works a little bit, try and explain it. Here's a table. So I'm working with this table called game comments. There's my timestamp. Notice it's displayed differently in MySQL, but uh, right there's different things you can do with that. Just understand that this this got recorded automatically. I just I configured a field in my table to be a timestamp so those things got recorded. And let me show you how to work with them. You you're going to be surprised at how not easy it is. I mean it's it's not terribly complicated, but it's not as easy as it should be. This is just me querying my table. Right, so grabbing everything. Um, this row right here is where I pulled a row. So if you haven't worked with querying a table, you really probably shouldn't be worrying about this. So I'm going to show you kind of the naive approach. 
So I want to show you what happens if, uh, so basically, let me try and make this happen. So I'm going to try shooting out that timestamp using the date function, using that same formatting as before. But watch, so I'm going to do, I'm going to fetch the row, and the timestamp is called TM. Right, so I'm going to do what I did up earlier, which is just apply, try and apply that date function to a timestamp. And you're going to see that it doesn't quite work the way that you would think it would work. It's going to be this line right here. Right, non well formed numeric value encountered, blah, blah, blah. Right, and, and so that happens. Now that's kind of weird. Like, what's up with January 1st, 1970? Well, that's what a timestamp with a value of zero would be. So that didn't work, right? That, that you would think that that would work, but it doesn't work. So, quite simply, what you need to do is this line right here. So, you could do it in line or, or not. I created this variable called date. And what you have to do is you have to call this function called str to time on that, right? So you have to do that. And what that does is that takes that MySQL timestamp and it turns it into something that PHP can actually work with. So then instead of doing this, I just put that there. So pretty roundabout way of proving and showing to you that you have to call this string to time function on that timestamp before you can format it. It's really not optional. You saw what happens if I don't do that. But now if I do that, then uh, then I can get a well-formatted date, right? Warning goes away, and then I get 2.17.17, which is the date of that comment which I entered yesterday. So to recap, this video is largely about the date function, which is a function in PHP that you can use to turn just some weird integer timestamp into something that a user might actually want to see. And then the second part of this is where I explain that you have to use this kind of intermediate step to take your MySQL timestamp and turn it into something that PHP can format using the date function. So those are the keys to working with timestamps. So hopefully you can apply this to whatever you're working on. Thanks for watching.